Good morning, oil traders. It is Thursday, five minutes after nine o'clock here on the East Coast in North America. We're still about 25 minutes away from the market open here. And we are finally over $50. At least we're finally over something. Um, we've been stuck in this range and we're technically still within this range. If you look just to the right of my notes sheet here, this is the high from uh, August 1st that we got to. It was just below 50.50, 50, uh, which happens to be my minimum target level for adding to my short positions. It certainly looks very bullish today and it, I would say pretty likely that we're going to make a new high um, for the summer uh, in crude. And I'll be looking to add to my short positions at above that level, at above 50-50 and closer to 51. I'm not going to be too greedy, but I'm going to be, try to be as patient as I can be. Um, most likely waiting for Europe to close at 11.30 a.m. Eastern time uh, before I do enter that position. Uh, of course, it's a risk because we could just keep going. Um, my next entry for the short would be closer to 52, which is also the price at which I have my long-term long position, um, which has been in the red for, geez, over three months now. I think we're coming up on month four. If I do a refresh of my portfolio, you can see that it's 112 days, almost 113 days. Um, so that one's a painful. Um, long position that I entered. Uh, it looked really good at the time, <laughs> but uh, the, you know, it is what it is. So let's see where this takes us. Um, the one thing I will be you know, mindful about, and I would probably caution uh, many of you to do the same, is the upcoming OPEC compliance meeting and the dramatic fall that could result if, of course, they, it comes out that they are not exactly as compliant as everyone expects them to be. You know, if we take a look, at, this is the one month chart. It's been extremely bullish over the course of this month. We've had this one big dip coming into the end of July. And then basically it's just been up, up, up. If we look, zoom out to the three month, you can see even more so how this basically forms this V. Um, here's the 52 mark, um, which represents the high from kind of mid end June. Um, and if we're able to break through that, um, well, that's an extremely bullish sign, and I don't think we're going to be able to do that unless OPEC comes back with, you know, compliance. Um, in which case, my shorts are going to be long, long, long-term shorts. Um, but we shall see. Um, so that's the game plan for today. It looks bullish, and I'm going to be looking to add to my short positions as per usual. Um, and if I finally get my turnaround, then I'll be looking for that 48 level to start to exit, um, which doesn't look all too likely today, but hey, we'll see. We've seen bigger drops before. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys have in mind. You can hit me up down below on uh, the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio trades and charts. Until then, uh, subscribe to stay tuned, give us a thumbs up, and I'll check back with you guys towards end of trading today at 4 or 4, um, 4 p.m. Eastern time. Good luck. Cheers.